Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling has found herself at odds with Daniel Radcliffe, the star of the film series based on her books. The subject? Gender identity. Tweeting over the weekend about an article that referred to, quote, people who menstruate, Rowling urged the use of the word woman instead prompting followers to accuse her of ignoring transgender women. Radcliffe published an essay Monday saying, quote, transgender women are women. Any statement to the contrary erases the identity and dignity of transgender people and goes against all advice given by professional healthcare associations who have far more expertise on this subject matter than either Joe or I. Rowling doubled down, tweeting, quote, I know and love trans people, but erasing the concept of sex removes the ability of many to meaningfully discuss their lives. It is in hate to speak the truth. Okay, that's a lot to unpack there. Let's bring back the opinion zone. Jeanette Hoffman and Bill Caruso. Bill, I'll start with you on this. I don't even know what to say to toss it to you. What do you think? Uh, in tonight's wonderful episode of What the Heck Were They Thinking? Um, you know, listen, Twitter's not the medium for this, and she may very well have a legitimate right. Listen, I'm not an expert on trans rights or women or menstruation. Um, so I know enough to keep my mouth shut on these things, particularly on Twitter. And so if you want to engage in a conversation about the erasure of women's rights and things of that nature, which is a legitimate discussion in this context, I think there's an appropriate forum for that. But, you know, sweet, sarcastic tweets on Twitter on a Saturday morning, probably not the forum. Jeanette, um, she was correcting something that I think a lot of normal people out there would say, yeah, why do you have to twist yourself in knots to come up with people who menstruate? Why can't you just say women? And if all women are the same, why do you have to say transgender women? Whether I agree with her or not, Bill, why can't she have an opinion on this? And why can't she express it without the liberal mob coming after her on Twitter and coming up with this cancel culture that, you know, I know we're going to see these boycott JK Rowling tweets coming at us. It's absolutely ridiculous in 2020 why someone can't express her thoughtful opinion on Twitter or any other forum. Why are we so fragile that we can't hear a not notable author's opinion on, on something that I think is very thoughtful? Bill, do you think, though, this is partly people are just looking to stop talking about coronavirus and George Floyd and everything else going on that let's get back to hating each other on Twitter? The world is a tinderbox right now, and Twitter is even more so. And, you know, Jeanette, to your point, I agree with you, but that's where we are. That ship sailed two, two years ago. Twitter is a hot mess. And trying to have a legitimate discussion on Twitter? Come on, what are you, crazy? But it's not just Twitter, Bill. It's the New York Times opinion page. We can't have a discussion anywhere, in any medium, in any forum, because people are losing their minds. If you don't stick to a politically correct speech, there's no room for nuance, there's no room for conversation. It's absolutely ridiculous that we've become so sensitive in this day and age. Hmm. All right, thanks, guys.